How's it going, everybody? I'm Dom Guglielmo, the offensive line coach here at Keystone College in Northeast PA. Um, thanks for tuning in. Today I'm going to talk to you guys about um, Keystone College's inside zone, kind of like our old rules, combos, and everything like that. Um, first thing we do, first thing we have is our play procedure. Um, we want our offensive line to I be the front. And for us, it's very simple. It's just, it's either an even or an odd. That's it. Um, the over under is great for them to know. Now they're getting a little older. We're starting to teach them to ID the over and under on the fly. But the main point, the main purpose of it all is to make sure that we have the front ID. Now, what we call the box ID is. We have even or odd front or bear. Um, and then we count the linebackers in the box. So the linebackers inside the tackles is a box. So if we have a 4-2 defense, it is an even two box. And that allows us to ID the mic and everything else. Um, we want to know where the tight end is. If there's no tight ends, we know we don't have to factor for him. If he's on the front side of the play, if he's on the back side of the play, just so we can add the combos in. Um, our general rule is find six, block five. I know a lot of coaches have their counts and all of this. I just tell my guys, count the guys in the box. If there's only five in the box, plus one out to the play side linebacker, there's your six, and then block the first five because we're going to read the backside um, D end or C gap defender. Once we have all that done, that's a really quick thing for our guys. We drill that every day. Um, we communicate our combo calls. Um, and within the combo calls, it's as quick as a it's as quick as a tag to fifty six. And then we want to communicate if we're going to have a full double team or a hummer. For us, a full double teams the standard double team. Hummer is heavy handheld, so if we don't have the angle to get a really nice double team in there, uh, the uncovered guy will give a Hummer, which is either a flipper or a hand to the hip, to really knock that guy off his path as he navigates up to the linebacker. And then lastly, we execute the play. Real quick, this is our even two box, as you can see. It's pretty easy for our guys. There's four down and two linebackers, even two. And that allows us to, again, make our combo calls. Again, it's an even two. And the reason I put these both in there with the over and the under, and assuming the plays are always going to the right here, is to really show that although the front shifted, the only thing that's really going to change is the Hummer and the Hummer call, the double call, and the angles that we attack um, the defenders. Odd two, um, like we said before, this is a perfect picture of you see the box has five in there. So we have to add one, which is the Sam. So now we have our six ID'd, and we know that we're responsible for the nose to tackle the Sam, the wool and the mic to declare our combos. Quick and easy, very simple for our guys. Um, and the stack makes it easy for us. The stack and the four two box make it really easy because there's already six guys in the box. So we know that we're going to block our um, backside C gap, or we're going to leave our backside C gap defender to be optioned off of. So that's either going to be the end of the will, depending on where the end stunts or where the will goes. Combos. Um, we name our combos. So a tag is a front side and a back side combo. Um, tackle and guard tag. This is um, a standard. All three of these are standard two for two combos. Um, live. The tag and the sig are both live for both front side and back side. And we use the same combos for our inside zone and outside zone calls. Um, 
I feel that they're both the same play relatively, just where the aiming point is, which changes our steps. So I don't want to add a whole new set of combos in for the same exact play. And a tag on the front side, they say tag. And the tag on the back side, they say tag. Having the same name for both sides, like you, the offensive line has drilled this so many times that they know that they're on the front side of the back side. We don't, I don't feel that we need two separate um, sets of calls, whether we're right to the right or the left, or for the front side sticker or back side sticker. It just adds another learning element, slows you down a little, and it adds another verb that adds to a call. Our three-man combos, front side three-man combo. I am a big three-man combo guy. Um, I know they end up being a one-on-one -on -one and a two-for-two, two, but I like calling them a triple and a train. A triple is our front side, so if we're on a four-down look, if we get a four-down look, the first three, the center guard and tackle, are going to be responsible for the nose of the tackle and the backer. Um, on the back side, is this is the only call I have, one for each side. It's a train. Um, because the Y is kind of like the caboose because when we, in some of our zone plays, depending on the variation, that Y will either go out and block a backside alley defender or add into the blocking scheme. So that's why I feel that they have to have different names because they're adding a different guy into the element, A, and B, it signifies the different plays that we're going to, or the different variations off of the inside zone we're going to run. Quick schematic here. So we're playing, we're running inside zone um, to an even two box. Um, in this example, we have a tight end attached. Now, since the tight end's attached, we want to get the first level blocked first. We need to smother the first level defenders before we can worry about the second level defenders. So we want to take that tackle and the Y and really work to T block that D end up into the sand. So in just this diagram, the it's probably going to end up being a Hummer based on the DN movement, but we want to get full movement on the first level defender here. Same thing with the SIG. We want to move that nose, put him in the Mike's lap, um, but we're not as concerned with getting off the double team too quick and getting to the mic because we want our defensive line to have zero tackles. And the same thing with the tag to the will there. Just by alignment, we know we have a pretty good um, situation for a double team, that being a three tech. And then we're going to assume pre snap that the end is the uh, backside C gap defender. Now, now we have a three front. And understanding that, regardless in our offense, regardless of what the Y is doing is going to be responsible for the same thing. So offensive line wise, we still have to find our six and block our five. So we've got three down an odd two box. So that's five. And now the offensive line is accounting for that Sam linebacker because that's our sixth man in our block. The Y is going to be responsible for the first alley defender outside the realm of the offensive line, which is probably going to be a corner or safety. So we're going to get a nice tag to the Sam, SIG to the Mike, and we're going to sift for that Will backer because we want to account for that DN slants inside. If he doesn't, boom, we go to the Will. If he does, we have to be accountable for him. We're responsible for that zone to our inside. Um, and we're just going to pitch off the next contained defender. And here's a situation where we're going to implement two three-man combinations here. Um, the triple, that's really a front side, four down combo for us. It's a three for three. Um, and then we're going to add in the train. So we made the play call adjustment to add in the Y into the blocking scheme. So now we're going to be six for six. 
And I like this look a lot, which I, when we game plan, I try to manipulate this look. I like the angles. Um, and I like how you get some nice um, heavy flow and double teams out. So now, this is us against an opponent in Virginia. Um, right off the bat, the offensive line is communicating the fact that this is an odd three or a stack box. Um, so we know that that first front side combination is going to be a tag based on rules. So the right guard and right tackle are going to tag to the Sam. The left guard and center are going to sig to the will or sig to the mic, which is the middle backer. And the backside tackle is going to sift up to the third linebacker playing the B gap responsibly. As we move through, we see nice, flip the calls. We see nice um, tag there on the front side of the play. For man on man, we get really nice movement on the nose, which occupies the mic. And we have a really nice sift here up through, which holds that DN just long enough for a running back to slime through and get a nice, a nice gain right up the middle. Here we are in an odd two box. Um, so we know now that we have to add one, find six and block five. On this call, we know that we're not going to have um, help from the tight end. So we're going to tag with the front side two, sig with the center and guard to the mic, and then sit for that 52. Now here, our tight end knows that it's a nice, it's an inside run play, so he's going to try to get inside leverage, knowing that the defender doesn't go all the way with him. But we've got a nice front side tag here, driving the DN out, keeping our eyes right on the double team linebacker. We've got a nice sig here, we've got a little lunge out of our center, but we're getting good movement. And our sift, it's a little steep for me. I like for him to stay a little bit more flat, but he's got his eyes on the right linebacker. So here we have a 4-2 box line. Wide nine set. We have our six quote in the box. We know we're blocking our five. As we move through, we get good movement on that play side D end by our right tackle. Got a nice hummer from our right guard. He sees that linebacker, so he's going to seal that linebacker right in the box and leave a nice hole for our tailback to run through. Our offense coordinator, or we believe that we don't want to overcoach that running back. We want to make his own choices. I see he sees a little blue, but. It's blocked very well, both by the offensive line and the wide receivers that we get a nice game for. Odd, odd two box here again. So we see that we have to add in um, this outside linebacker in our account for our six. We're going to sift up with our right tackle here. Um, We get nice movement on the initial SIG double team, which opens up a nice crease there. Center comes off of that linebacker. Nice front side tag, picks up that 
outside linebacker. And then our tackle, again, a little aggressive on that sift, but he makes a nice block. And look, I'll take a four yard gain any day of the week. Nice even two box here. Um, I really like this. I like this look. This is one of our inside zone variations, our um, inside zone cut. That front side tag does a really nice job. One for one. Our center and guard here. Our center gets his shoulders turned a little bit, but does a nice job regaining on that SIG. We lose our footing a little with that front side guard. But I where the position, the position that these guys are in from the get-go, I'm really happy with where we're at. If we could just stick on that block just a second longer, we're out. <laughs> Again, we have another look at that wide nine-ish defense. Um, our tackles actually really enjoyed this day. They really like going out there and blocking in space. Uh, just look at that front side triple on the left side of the screen. I, I really like what our right side of the line is doing here. Um, our right guard knows that his linebacker is number 40. He sees his stance. He's a little tight to the line, so he knows he's going to have to be quick off onto him. They do a nice job communicating a nice hummer call there. Our center gets hands on to the nose guard really quick. Boom. Our front side Three-man combination here is very good. One th one teaching progression we have, or one teaching point we have here is we we know that we have that front side triple. We know that we have that back side tag. So our left guard here just needs to either communicate the double better with the tackle, and then move up to forty-two, or give him a nice hump, or give him a Hummer call and just knock fifty-two back in the hole for 72 to take over and then navigate to 42. What happens is he, dedic he declares too much, 252, doesn't keep his feet moving and misses his block on 42. I'll take our tail back here against the safety any day of the week, but we gotta get those first and second level defenders blocked. But the front side triple, big fan. They did a really good job. They had an offensive line, had a really good game this game, so I was pretty excited. All right, guys, I really do appreciate um, you taking the time to listen to me talk about our inside zone here at Keystone College. Um, if you ever need anything from me, feel free to reach out to my email, message me on Twitter, whatever. I'm always down to uh, talk football. I really do appreciate everything that this YouTube channel does for the sport. I know I've seen a lot of the good football coaches on here and it really brings the coaching community tighter. So thank you very much guys.